All right. Hey, everybody. It's Two Legs. It's Wednesday. It's the live edition of Two Legs. Hope you all are are here. still here. We had a little te technical difficulties, but uh, you know what? You know. Yeah, he had, throw, he had a throw. Joe Corso had to throw a come on, man, at us. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing all right. We are here with a special guest, Beetle Brad. And as you know, Beetle Brad is a mega collector of all Beatles solo and, and group. And you can see he's got some stuff behind him right now that we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. But I uh, just want to say hi to everybody. Uh, Oliver, Day Tripper, Beans, um, my bonehead cousin, Tim, uh, Ralph, everybody out there. I hope you guys are doing all right. Tim, I hope Mayo. Um, thanks for being here. So uh, we're going to uh, just go over collecting. We're going to talk about uh, talk to Beetle Brad about his collection, and he's going to show us a few things. But first, we're going to talk. Uh, uh, Andy, how, how's it going with you? Andy? Brad, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, can you hear me? Um, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like Andy froze again. Yeah, it looks like we lost Andy there for a couple of minutes. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Sorry about that. We'll just continue <laughs> until Andy figures out what the hell's going on. But uh, so, just talk yeah. about uh, talk about you know starting collecting and you know when did you actually realize that you've you've become a collector. Oh, gosh. I had an older brother, and uh, so I basically kind of just enjoyed his music and started just listening to what he had. And I basically kind of enjoyed listening to the Beatles early on and heard, you know, certain things. And I remember hearing on the, the radio um, playing Get Back on the radio. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah. this is really cool. My brother's like, yeah, this is good. You'll like this. And Okay, and one second, Brad. Andy's calling Well, I mean, I was here. I was trying to keep going. I mean, if you want to try to keep popping back in. If you're, if you're still on. Are yeah. You on? Yeah. Yeah. We're still on. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, Brad. Andy's experiencing some bad weather right now, so oh, wow. I guess that's that's uh, that's you know. Hey, you know what? We're here right now, so Jack, you know, sorry about that so far. So you know what? It's uh, it's you know, technical yeah, technical difficulties happen all the time. Yeah, so um, you know, like <laughs> I said, he's got some bad weather right now, so we're just gonna keep going. So so continue your story. You're talking about how your bro older brother was the um, yeah, yeah. So you know, we were listening to the you know, I was listening to the radio and and they played Get Back and it was kind of great. And, you know, and then they right. said that's the Beatles, but sad to say they're breaking up. So I was like, oh wow, <laughs> you know, so, right. uh, you know, getting in on the last of the the Beatles thing. But I really didn't start collecting until probably around late 75, early 76, though, and mm. started getting aware of Beatles. And my, actually, my first album that, I mean, my brother, I had my brother's albums uh, that he passed on to me. Because, you know, when you get, you know, an older brother, he, he wants to move out and he doesn't want to deal with anything, you know, right. you know, heading on doing what he wants to. Right. Um, so I ended up with a few of his albums. And oh, all right. Yeah, cool thing was I ended up with uh, several of his original pressing Beatle albums and DJ stuff. Beatles. Too. No kidding! Wow. So pretty sweet start way to start. But uh, for me, my first album buying was uh, Band on the Run. Um, buying that when it came out new. So okay. So so you started getting collecting stuff during the solo years then. Yeah, yeah. I okay. started basically back. Yeah, I started in the solo years, pretty much like I said, seventy five, seventy six. Okay. So as you're, as you're collecting, I mean, are, are you also, when you're collecting the new stuff, are you also going back and collecting what you didn't have to begin with? Yeah. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've kind of made a massive of, of collecting all kinds of Beatles, original 64 stuff. Um, right. Just to mention, I've, I've been, I, I could have shown, shown a whole lot more of other stuff, but right. you know, Beatle wise, I could, I, you know, like one of my prized possessions is uh, meet the Beatles, which everybody's like, Oh, big deal. Meet the Beatles. Um, right. But this is a promo press release one for the press. <sighs> before. 
Wow. So that's pretty sweet. So, and, you know, lots of other Beatle albums, uh, you know, that I've, I pretty much have gotten, um, you know, besides all the solo stuff and CDs behind me and all right. my down below here, vinyl and CDs, we're looking at probably just a little over 2,000 items. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not just vinyl, though. I mean, that's like promotional stuff and, yeah, you know, videos. Not, yeah, it's not counting. It's not counting uh, collectibles or videos or any of that stuff. We're just talking about vinyl, right. vinyl and CDs, about a little over 2,000. Wow. So then let's talk about your uh, your YouTube channel. What made you want to start the YouTube channel and uh, what was your you know, what was your you know thought process going in you yeah. know doing that? I, I started just a little over four years ago and I really kind of watched a few other people and I was like, I, I can't do this because my collection is not that terrific. You know, I was thinking I really don't have that really. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I really don't have that much to show. And I'm sitting there thinking, right. you know, people won't be that interested. So I kind of just hopped on YouTube and I, I was really pretty green about the whole thing. And a good friend of mine helped me out, which I'm sure he's probably watching, uh, right. Jeff Mayo. So right. he, he kind of, you know, he was kind of the early guru at that time of uh, starting me off and how to do it. And then I, you know, I basically, um, you know, I didn't think I would really stick with it because I was like, well, you know, who'd mm -hmm. want to see what I've got? Right. Um, <laughs> But like I said, you know, I've, I've got, I mean, I'm not even into my, I'm just now starting into my solo stuff, but I'm still getting more Beatles stuff and I'm still getting right. uh, more and more stuff all the time and, and some very rare stuff. So, so, so when you, when you say you're still getting more stuff and more, I mean, do you have like a certain connection? Do you, do you know somebody that has these things and you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's, it's lots of times I'll go to, you know, like Beetle Fest, I'll go to that and I'll go to, uh, you know, my, my local stores here, which has, you know, I've got six record stores to choose from where I live, mm -hmm. which is nice. Okay. Um, then I do some online purchasing, you know, I do okay. well, but I've, I've collected throughout the years for so much. It's, you know, it's kind of like, I've, I've kind of just now showing more stuff like this. Right. Um, you know, we're, we're just talking about McCartney today, but, uh, you know, I, I could jump into any, several other topics if we did oh, yeah. George, if we did Jeff Swan or, you know, yeah. all, you know, all that. So, yeah, right. Beatles, Beatles, massive of Beatles. <laughs> um, promo posters, promo videos, all kinds of stuff, you know. Right. Uh, question is, where, where are you based out of? Where, um, where are you? You're in New York, right? No, I'm I'm low. I'm a little bit lower than that. I'm in the in the south. So okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so well, you know, you don't have to give your exact location. <laughs> <laughs> I some silly stuff happen, you know. Some right, rude stuff to me, so I kind of keep it a little closure. I under a very very understood understood. No, yeah, no worries there. That, you know? Yeah, hey, I I hear you. There's a lot of rude people out there. Hey, um. So anyways, so looking behind you now, you looks like you got some interesting stuff. Uh, the show. Um, I mean, if you just want to start at the top, you know, behind you, you got the what the Red Rose Speedway. Yeah, I mean, you you may say, okay, there's Red Rose Speedway, which was Paul McCartney's album. You may say, okay, that's that's really nice, right? You know, big deal, Red Rose. Well, it's actually a UK first pressing mm. in the UK, and it's a white label promo. Oh wow, white label. But the cool thing about this is when they did white label promos in the UK, they also threw in to the dealers in the UK, very rare stuff. And this was one of the rare things that came with it. And it's a Frisbee. Frisbee. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is really cool and really rare. Because I believe they, 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 they also sold those during the European tour. Yeah. Yeah. During Wings the over Europe. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Europe and all that kind of stuff. But the, the, when it came to the American stuff, they didn't do this in America. No, no, that is far out. So that came with the record. Yeah. And this came with the record because this was an in-store promotional piece and they only got one. Let's see, right. I'm going this way. Right. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> they only got one per store. So in the okay. UK, you know, if you're, if you're located in London and, and you're the only one that gets the, um, album here then right. you get a label promo but you know the frisbee is is triple the price when you oh of course 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a friend that um, I purchased some stuff off, and he had uh, the uh, the frisbee, and you know wanted a little bit more than what I wanted to spend at the time. But um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I think those are far out. <laughs> it was only one kidney, so it's not too bad. <laughs> right, because <laughs> I think they also did a Venus and Mars frisbee too. I, I know they did another one. Yeah, Venus and Mars. And far as I know, I think that's kind of really the only two per se. So right, right. That's kind of, kind of a neat piece. Like I said, you know, being a first press and a white label promo, that's pretty cool. Yes. Um, next to it, we've got a uh, beetle. A beetle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Paul. Uh, bootleg which was kind of neat um a lot of songs have already been released on this and several right. bootlegs but it's just a nice photo shot with uh paul and linda is that the uh, that's a uh, 86 is that like a press to play bootleg because it says yvonne yeah, right on yeah, there yeah it's got some press to play and some other stuff on there as well okay mm, so that's kind of nice gotcha so and then also behind you got the driving rain lp yeah and this is a first press uk pressing of uh, on vinyl which that's getting a lot harder to find of the it UK is vinyl. because i think it was only pressed in the uk i believe yeah. i could be wrong on that but um they did press them in the us but uh they kind of basically said well, you know we're gonna just press them in the uk and it'd be easier i i guess i don't know right but it ended up being that so the, the uk press if, if, if you all have one of those right <laughs> it's actually pretty cool and pretty rare now, did you did you find that when it first came out, or did you find it afterwards? You know, I bought it the day it came out. I always, I always love going to, you know, right. like from London Town all the way forward, even up into McCartney 3, I've been buying them on the record store when, when they come out. So it was always an excitement to me. It's almost like Christmas right. to get it that day, like London Town I bought. The Amazing. Day it came out, you know. Right. So I bought it. <laughs> Make a long story longer, and I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Keep it going. Yeah, I got this uh, the day it came out. So, you know, and I just kind of saw it as a regular pressing. Right. And, then, you know, CD came in so strong that I didn't really realize at the time that this was pretty hard to get now. Yeah, that's amazing. So what's what's next? What's 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 next to it? Um, and then next to it is a uh, Paul McCartney. It's a two-record set. It's kind of like the best of Cold Cuts bootleg. Ah, oh, okay, cool. That's, yeah. So that's one of the cold cut bootlegs then. Yeah. So this is kind of when a lot of these tracks, uh, before McCartney did the blowout mega box sets, you know, that it's got, you know, 900 CDs and the big booklets and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of the songs were taken from this, you know, the cold cuts. So the cold cuts were kind of a, kind of a rare thing at the time. Yep. And actually Paul was yep. going to come out with an album that's... called cold yep. cuts. Yeah, you know, he worked on that several times throughout the seventies and eighties to try to get um, to try to get you know uh, one kind of version out there. You know, um, yeah, I think it was talked about in seventy four, and then again in the uh, the late seventies, and then early eighties, and then I think the last attempt was right before uh, all the best came out. So yeah, I mean, there's a long history with the the whole cold cuts idea. Yeah. Know? Yeah, he certainly so. could do. He certainly could do a nice one. I mean, there's there's still stuff in the can that Paul hasn't really, mm. you know, there's they're certainly the cold cuts got pretty heavily booted, but there's, there's still some really cool tracks on there that I do like. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. So, so is that, and then you got a McCartney two ish uh, bootleg. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a hard one to find. It's a McCartney two bootleg on, on vinyl, which the CD you can pick up every day, you know, they're okay. there, but the vinyl, the vinyl's getting a little tougher to find. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, so, now, how do you now when it comes to the bootlegs? I mean, how do you how do you become aware of the bootleg? I mean, are you just finding them in record stores? No, you know, a lot of these I found years ago. I mean, like this one down here. I mean, I bought that yeah. in '79. You know, at a right. record store where I I used to live in Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. Um, for those that are watching that live in that area, um, so you know, some of, a lot of these I bought in Indianapolis at the time. So you know, that was kind of a you know, this one here, it's a bootleg also. And there's a lot of stuff on there from McCartney 2 and some other different takes of. Okay. Because that looks like the uh, the Paul from the coming up video. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So he used that um, for the shot, you know, which is kind of nice. And uh, at one point, he did think about titling this as, as McCartney 2 and using that for the front cover for <laughs> McCartney 2 instead of the other one being one. Right. Yeah, go figure. All right, band on the run. Looks like that's uh, 
next this in is, line? Yeah, I know. We're sitting here looking at, you know, you're sitting here saying, okay, Brad, why, you know, Beetle Brad, why would you want to show Band on the Run? Big deal. You know, right. it's regular pressing. This pressing is from Ireland, and it's the mm. first pressing from Ireland, and it's missing two tracks off of the American album. No kidding. So Helen, we Helen Wheels isn't on there then. <laughs> yeah, Helen Wheels is is uh, excuse me, one of them missing, and also, um, Band on the Run. No, <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no. Actually, uh, Helen Wheels is the second one, which is uh, kind of ironic because there's a promo video to Helen right. Wheels. Right. And fantastic video for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, mm. But this one from Ireland, it's a first pressing from Ireland. Very, wow. very hard to get. Very hard to get. So that's, very that's cool. cool. And, and I don't know why uh, for Ireland they would take two songs off of the album. Right. I don't know. Hmm. Paul, hasn't, Paul hasn't called me yet on that. So right. I don't know. Well, I, I, yeah. well, if you watch that uh, that Russian documentary from the back in the USSR, they talked about how when Band on the Run was pressed in Russia, they left the song Band on the Run off of it because of, you know, because of its uh, theme, you know, you know, they almost did, you know, giving, um, you know, inmates like a, an idea to escape or something, like exactly. you, you know, exactly. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That, that got pulled, you know. Got you. Is it possible to, to flip it around, or can you grab it and, and show the show it a little closer to the to the camera? Uh, I don't know if I can do this or not without everything else falling behind it. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. so, yeah, right. I mean, just one is curious of what the second the second missing track was. Yeah, let me roll it. Oh, let me roll it. Okay, then uh, then yeah, don't worry about yeah. it. Then okay, okay, let me roll. Yeah. Okay. I got, like I said, I've got all my vinyl here, and then yeah. I mean, you probably can't see it, but up above me, right? Um, these are all CDs, and these are oh, double, wow. double stacked all the way through here, and then there's all CDs through here and vinyl. This is all Beatles, all of this wow. is a vinyl. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing stuff. So that's it. That's an Irish uh, pressing of a Band on the Run, and Let Me Roll It, and uh, Helen Wheels are missing from, from yeah. that one. Yeah, okay. Pretty, pretty crazy. It's like, okay, Paul, what's going on with what's what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen. So then, this other one is for curious about. This is um was when you told me about this the other night, and that's a fireman release that you have in the middle that came in an like a album sized envelope. Yeah, it's an oversized envelope with with the strap right here. It's got like you know like you have with those uh, mm -hmm. elastic straps, and this is a UK first pressing promo. Of the firemen. Okay. So it's the first album, but you the know, first album. Okay. Yeah, but it's hard to find the promo and being vinyl. The the, the firemen, you know, came out on CD and it was all that kind of right. timing and all that kind of stuff. But the vinyl is quite hard to find. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> UK, UK promo. So yeah, yeah, you know, I haven't seen that at all. I mean, I I the only one that I have on the vinyl is the Electric Arguments, the third one. So you know, seeing yeah. that, I mean, is is pretty impressive. You know, yeah. especially if you didn't know that was McCartney at the time. You know, at the time of release. So well, right here, down here, it says the Fireman. You know, and you're like, well, okay, well, you know, big deal. What's right. That? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I mean, I would say probably, you know. A lot of fans didn't realize that that was McCartney until the Electric Arguments, the third one, came out. Exactly, you know, because the yeah. first one was red, you know, right. and all that kind of stuff. So we're, you yeah. know, in America, we're used to the red covered jacket one and all that. So for this right. one, to be honest, it's different. Gotcha. And then you got off the ground next to that. Yeah, that's that's an American first press of off okay. the ground, which you know I'm sure we'll probably get a. Uh, you know, box set coming out on that. But yeah, that's kind of neat. I remember buying that the day it came out as well, back to the story of buying mm. vinyl when it came out. So I bought that. That's an American pressing, first press. And it's okay. So, so when you're, do you usually, if there was a US and a UK, do you usually try to find both? Or do you yeah. try to find all the countries that pressed yeah. it as well? Because yeah. I'm sure, you know, especially yeah. like Japanese ones as, as well, because they do pressings as well. Right? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got McCartney albums that are, you know, I'll buy like one album and I've got it from, you know, let's, let's just pick on London town. Right. I've got it from England. I've got it from Spain. I've got it from Germany. I've got it from uh, America and Switzerland. Wow. Wow. You know? So those, you know, it's kind of fun for me because people will say, well, you're crazy. Why would you want more than one pressing? 
Um, you hear different things when you listen to different countries. You know, it's okay. like the Beatle albums, you know, like different. I've got different a lot of mixes. Things. Yeah, you know, you, you also will hear them make mistakes in a lot of like some of the German pressings. I've got a Beatle album to hear them make mistakes, like in the uh, German pressing of Sgt. Pepper, you hear them counting off one, two, three. Gotcha. Um, on some of the songs when they're going into uh, Strawberry Fields and stuff like that, you know, for the single. That's amazing. Wow. Um, it looks like you got Ubu Jubu then uh, next to that. No, well, let's we'll scoot over here. here. Yeah. yeah. This is this is a vinyl copy of Ubu Jubu before um, all of that, which Paul really, really promoted Ubu Jubu. He was yeah. going to release this as an album. Um, but when he did this, he released – going this way. It's hard yeah. to be video. That's all right. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> anyway. Um, Ubu Juba, when it came out on vinyl, you know, it was also a radio show that he did. Yep. yep. Um, then there was also a bootleg uh, CD series that he did as well. Um, but also there was a, which I've got up above here. I didn't want to take too much time. Yeah. It was a nine DVD set of home demos, promo studio stuff of Paul, with, and he titled it Ubu Jubu as well. And it's video stuff. And it's just, It'll blow your mind. It's like him wow. doing rehearsals of Mulligan Tire in the studio. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, and, and you know, right. but some other I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But it like I said, it's nine DVDs long. Right. right. So <clears throat> so then the vinyl behind you, is it was that just a one record set or was that a multiple record set? Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this one, this this one was just yeah, a right. record set to where the CDs, um, the music ones of the CDs there, I think there were four or five in the CDs mm. and the actual radio show, which I've got that also the radio show mm. and that 12 or 14 CDs, I think. Right now, was that the complete show or did they, did they, yeah, uh, that's the complete show. Okay. Yeah. Cause you know, the copyright issue, you know, if it got an official release, it probably, you know, yeah. Yeah. We'd have to take some of that stuff out. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So let's okay. See. So and that, now that's a run double run pressing there at the far end there, right? Can you can you see that or? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm kind of having a hard time with my camera angle here. No, so that's I okay. That. Yeah. Well, your name. Yeah, your name was kind of blocking a little bit, exactly. but uh, yeah. yeah. This is this is a first pressing, and I actually for my video channel. Uh, went to that location, and it's in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, is where that actual uh, place is. Well, I've run Double Run. It's a it's a drugstore, and I did a whole video right. of it. Mm -hmm. it's, in a, it's in a horrible section of Atlanta. Really, right. really bad area. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and I did it in the middle of the daytime, and my friend's paranoid that we're going to get killed in the midst of it. <laughs> anyway, um, that's a impressive. Uh, a so you were... Okay, so you were able to find that on on release day release day as well, right? On vinyl. Yeah. I did. Okay. I did. Gotcha. I did. So you, is that a UK pressing or a US pressing? That's a US press. Oh, okay, because I I all right. my understanding was it was only UK, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I did not that. realize it was UK US pressing as well. That's very I'm cool. Talking. Yeah. So what is that uh, next to it? Next to it then. Um, and down below next to it is a. Oh, the joys of video, isn't this? Yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah. This is also a kind of an unreleased Paul McCartney bootleg, um, which has got some really, really neat stuff on that that hasn't been released yet. And okay. And some great, great stuff on that. So that's that's kind of a neat. So wait a minute. You said that's an unreleased bootleg? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. Kind of no. uh, words of words here. But it's, right. it's some songs on there that Paul hasn't. Oh, it hasn't released. Okay. Either. All right. So, you know, yeah, it's on that bootleg, but he – with doing these box sets, we'll kind of start to release a lot of songs that haven't been released, but so far, right. Uh, all of those on that so, uh, album hasn't been released. So, Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. what, 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 what years, what kind of uh, songs, do you know the songs that are on that one? Yeah. We're basically looking at, uh, kind of knock that over. Yeah. Sorry about that, buddy. Messing it up here, but yeah, this is kind of, uh, okay. Yeah. That good. That way people can uh, freeze it. Or yeah, pause it and yeah, take a look. On their own there, yeah, yeah, Mama's little girl is on there. You know, yeah, there's a couple, a couple there that have been released, but then there's some that that haven't. Okay. So and that's kind of nice. And then Paul, Paul was the one that did all these sketches. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of neat, you know, the record itself. Right. Um, American American flaming pie. That that is right. A, a kind of yeah. hard to get. Yeah, um, I actually just picked one up myself. Did you? Excellent. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah. And I love flaming pie. Fantastic. Oh, flame absolutely very yeah great record you know got all that um you know inspiration from the beatles anthology and just you know you can tell he was inspired from doing that so yeah yeah so that's yeah. that's really nice that's that's actually uh still got the hype sticker right here it's kind of hard to yeah. see it everybody but there's the hype sticker and it's still in the original shrink wrap it has not been opened so that's still officially sealed yeah yeah so never been played well i got another copy so it's like yeah. you know there you go. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got the uh, a German copy of that. And I've okay, got cool. Copy or yeah, American UK? copy. Um, yeah, yeah, and then the I've got the CD, and then I got the big blowout deluxe box set that came out. Right. Yeah. Why? Why open this when when it's yeah? If right you there. don't have to, you don't have to. I completely yeah. understandable. And these things um, are on eBay for at least five to seven dollars. So you know, you have right. To <laughs> So I'm I'm hoping that that Russian album is is from the actual uh, club sandwich. Uh, Very good. Yeah, I was just yeah. getting ready to say this. This is the uh, Russian one, and I've got all the paperwork that came with it because originally, right. and you're, you're you're absolutely right. You probably um, could tell the story better than I could, but I, I belong to the Paul McCartney Club um, right. from from seventy. 78 all the way through when the last issue came out when it was mm. Linden. Right. Um, and back then with the McCartney fan club, um, Linda, Linda took the pictures and Paul wrote the articles for a lot of it. So oh, wow. it really homespun magazine. Um, right. Fantastic. But anyway, this, this came with all the paperwork. And at that time they weren't going to release it to the public. It was through the fan club. Right. Only. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got that that one, I think it was what, 87? Around that time? Yeah, 87, 88. That sounds about okay. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. But, I mean, so you get the club sandwich and then it offers. I mean, you automatically got it just because you were a member of Club Sandwich. It's not like you had to send money um, or anything like that, right? Yeah, you did. You, I, I still have my... I've got a, I got the paperwork too. That as well. I kept all of that, which, you know, it said if you'd like this exclusive offer from the McCartney Fun Club, you know, send okay. in. Well, I forgot what the amount was now, but you know, send in let's just say twenty dollars. Okay. And we will mail you out this exclusive Paul McCartney album that's never been. Wow. Made, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, and you know, and you, you know, since we're talking about you know different McCartney albums, here's one that has not been. Um, opened. It's still in seal, but this is. If I get the glare out. Yeah, yeah. Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars. Paul McCartney, which is a terrific album, but this is a quite a very rare one. Um, it's totally different. It's one album. There's no posters. You know, as I as I can feel, no right. gatefold. But this one is from. Uh, <laughs> I had on the tip of my tongue. Um, mm. This this is from Uruguay. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, this is this is a pressing. I said in the back is totally different, but yeah, Uruguay. I couldn't couldn't think of it. That's okay. So, but yeah, this this is really quite neat, quite rare. I I really have not seen too many of these. No kidding. Yeah, from Uruguay. Amazing. And then, was there anything else after uh, the Russian album? Um, no, it's kind of me just blocking the oh, you okay, know, gotcha, the and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, I could I could show a couple other things if you're interested. Yeah, please, yeah, absolutely, go ahead. Well, this uh, we're getting ready. I'm getting ready to do a video on McCartney, so this is kind of a sneak peek of uh, one of the items that I'll be showing in my up and coming video. But this is uh, McCartney. Okay. And everybody's like, oh, okay, that's that's nice. Oh boy, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> But this is a first pressing from Taiwan, oh. and it's still in the original shrink. Right. That plastic. I'll be real careful because I did the plastic. And, you know, for those of you that uh, have this album, McCartney, which is great, uh, the back of it's totally different. It's very, it's a, it's a very flimsy um, yeah. record sleeve, isn't it? 
Yeah, the, uh, the stuff, I've got a lot of stuff from Taiwan, and they're very flimsy. Uh, right. producers, but the albums, the sound quality on these albums are fantastic. Mm. But the jackets, the jackets are, are you know, very, very paper thin, and you got to be very careful with them because they do tear. Huh. Okay. <laughs> right. So now, are there more of those, or is that the only one from Taiwan that you have? Oh, no, I got tons of pressings. I mean, I've got like Ram, I've got Sgt. Pepper. Okay. The Mystery Tour. You know, I've got a lot of stuff on Taiwan, right. which is it's fun to find and right. it's rare. Someone asked if you can put the label, the the label closer to the screen. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah the, the Taiwan cool. one. Yeah. yeah, we get Taiwan on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, that's that's. Uh, oh, look at that! That is far out. But isn't that neat? I mean, I like that, and it's in perfect shape. It's it, it's really, yeah. really good sound quality. Um, okay, I've I've bored my wife by playing it, but it's it's great. <laughs> yeah. Now, the 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 weight of the layer, I mean, of the vinyl itself. I mean, does it feel flimsy, or is it a heavier heavier weight on the on the vinyl? Do you know? Um, it's not it's not any heavier. I'd say it's a little, just a little bit lighter than our American vinyl, but not by much. Okay. It's, it's okay. a little bit lighter, so. Right. Uh, there's no scratches. There's no, you know, because I was thinking, oh man, I'm buying it from Taiwan. I, I right. bought it on online from Taiwan when I got mm -hmm. it. And it took, I felt like it took six months to get here, you know, because wow. before COVID, way before COVID. Right. Um, but that that was hard to that was hard to get because the the customs. I think it went through like four different customs. <laughs> right. Right. You mentioned uh, you mentioned COVID. Talk about collecting during COVID. I mean, were you still collecting during this whole time? I mean, I mean, obviously you're probably doing a lot more online than you were uh, store shopping, right? Yeah, yeah, I I was. You know, I did some you know more online stuff, and I've got the bills to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. Uh, yeah, my wife's like, oh boy, you need to slow down. But yeah. You know, <laughs> No, no. Yeah, no, you know, you find something, you're like, oh gosh, we're gonna find this again. You know, it, this the thing is, it's it's just it never ends with this. There's always something you find that you didn't know about, and you just gotta have it. You know. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and and it's so true. You know, I'm, I'm either tracking something down solo wise, or I'm tracking right. something down needle wise, and I'm really really enjoying right. that. Plus, I enjoy collecting a lot of other music from the '60s. You know, mm -hmm. stuff and Beach Boys and Dave Clark Five. Right. So, you know, what uh, is there? Right. Is there something you know about that you haven't found yet that you really are looking forward to picking up? Um, right now I'm kind of got a bug for off the ground. I'm really kind of buying some more stuff of off the ground, and I'm looking mm. for a promotional stand-up display for oh. off the ground. And it's it's quite right. large. I mean, I've got the promotional poster. I've got several different cds and i've got the albums well as you can see this album right and, you know i've got them still in blister pack and you know and i've also got them in the you know the long box which we used to get years ago still sealed and right on during that concert tour um, so is your is your collecting stretch to cassettes and and, and eight tracks as well yeah yeah, I just actually I just got uh, on eight track. I just got Ringo Starr, Rhoda Gervais. So I just put that on eight track. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, those. I mean, those are you can find those for a reasonable price. Right yeah, those aren't. Yeah, those, yeah. Yeah. those aren't through the roof. You know, and I find with you know collecting Paul and Ringo, well, especially Paul, is that I just feel like I have this urge to get everything as quickly as possible because, you know, when that unfortunate day comes when when Paul passes, I mean, they're just, I mean, everything is going to go through the roof, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Tell my wife that. Speak up. <laughs> 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 yeah, so we got to get this stuff now. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Right, exactly. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You really, you really do, and you know that's just the thing. You know, I'm gonna, like I said, you know, not to back up a little bit. You know, on my channel, I do two to three videos, sometimes three videos a week. Right. Um, and I'm still running stuff on my Beetle Brad channel, and I'm I'm just now starting to go into solo Beatles, but I've still got more Beatles to show because I'm finding stuff I don't have. 
Yeah. The one thing we were talking the other night, you know, I know you can't show it, but you were talking about how you also have a billboard, an outside billboard size poster of the of Back to the Egg. It's promo. I've got my albums here that I did a display right. for you. If right. I put it here, it would it would go past the height of this and then the bottom of this. It's it's twice the size of what I'm showing you on vinyl. Wow. And it's it's enormous and Oh, I bet. I bet. I mean, so I mean, do you recall getting that? When, yeah. when did that? When did it have? Tell us the story of that. I lived in Indianapolis, Indiana at the time, and there was a record store that just they they you know they're going to be getting the album in, and so uh, Back to the Egg was coming out. You know, we all heard about it on the radio and all that kind of stuff. Blah blah blah. So I, I went down to my record store. It was like a week before, and he at the record store he had this big poster of it. You know, like I was just telling you about this huge Back to the Egg, and I said right. that was unbelievable. And I said, "What are you going to do with that?" And he goes, "I don't know." Because he said, you know, he said, we'll probably just crash it. And I said, well, I'm, I'm kind of a McCartney collector. So we're talking about right. 79. So he's like, I'll just put your name on the back of it. And it's yours. Pick it up after the uh, record comes out next week. Oh, wow. So it was a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say freebie anymore today. <laughs> you didn't have to pay. F oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And the last time I saw one of those sold on eBay for 700. So. Oh. And it did sell for seven hundred. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, and that was really yeah. cool because you know I was just like, oh, that's that's really really sweet to uh, yeah. To, to get. Here, let me show you something else that's kind of neat. This is. Oh. Um, okay, so this is another from the Russian album collection. Yeah, this is a wooden box set from Russia. Okay. This is all. All wood. Yeah. Yeah. And you, I don't know if you, have you seen this? I, I, I have a book that has a picture of, of it in there. Yeah. And here's my letter of authenticity that I printed. Right. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, I have seen that. That's though that's far out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's kind of neat. I mean, that's, that's getting to be more of a harder one to find. Right. Right. You know, but that was kind of neat. Now, now how did one have to get, now how did one get one of those? Do you recall? You know, you believe, how, believe it or not, I, I bought this like maybe seven years ago on eBay. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you didn't know about it at first? Well, I, I saw it and then, you know, I was thinking, well, I don't know if I want to spend $30. You know, we're talking about eBay about, you know. Right. Ten years ago, maybe this was. Right. You know, and this was from Russia. And, you know, and I, I'm sitting here thinking, do I really want to spend $30 on that? Right. It was like, well, you know, 10 years ago, that was a lot of money. So, you know, I'm sitting there thinking $30. Well, now you put a zero after it. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you just kind of, yeah. think it's, you know. Right. So, well, that was an eBay purchase, actually. Okay, cool. I'll have to keep my eye open for something like that. Yeah. I remember there was also a, um, I don't know if you have this or not, but it's, it's it was a uh, wingspan box set. That was like lime green. It had the wingspan CD in there. It had the um, uh, Blackbird singing book in there, and it had yeah. a little wingspan book. I mean, uh, pin. I almost put it up here, but then I, I ran out of room, and I thought, well, you know, what, you know, I took down several albums and replaced them with several other albums, and I thought, well, yeah, but yeah, no, I've got that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's, I mean, that's commanding some some decent money on there too. I've seen yeah. a couple of those on eBay. Um, so what what do you got in your hand there? Those those are going for at least a, you know seven to eight to nine yeah. ten dollars you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun with you you know yeah I know but I know so <laughs> Mayo, Mayo wants to know if you got the Egypt Station suitcase no I didn't get that I I just I don't know I can't pull the trigger on it it's yeah. just like I've got everything out of it but I'm kind of like I don't know I'm just kind of like I, you know if I find it you know I I've seen it three times now at three different record stores and I could get it for around 300, which is actually. Oh. Good. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's about a hundred dollars cheaper than what, you know, I got it for. But I'm, but, I'm still thinking, you know, I don't know. Do I need it? I mean, after I've got so many copies of Egypt station, you know, right. Like, right. You know. Okay. Anyway, what's, what you got there? So this is McCartney too. So this is really, really pretty wild. <laughs> and it looks like a Xerox copy. If you, if, it's right. still the original shrink wrap. It hadn't been opened. Okay. Um, and this is this is kind of crazy. 
that it's still in the original shrink wrap and it's uh, kind of pretty, pretty wild. But this one wow. is from Uruguay. Uruguay again, another one. Wow. Yeah, another Uruguay present. But McCartney too. That's this one's a hard one to find from Uruguay. And like I said, it, it hasn't been opened, still sealed. So pretty cool. Oh, amazing. Yeah, and like I said, you know, the, the, I, I keep these all in polyfill because the the you know these bags, outer bags, because like if you could see the right the tear. But I, I bought that when it came out, and my you know I bought McCartney too, and it came out, and I and this was like three records behind the McCartney two when I got this, and I you know, so I said, you actually found that in a record store. Yeah. yeah wow. I did, but. You know, and I said to the guy, is this, is this a bootleg or is this a, you know, a, he says, I don't know. He said, I think it's from, you know, some other country. And, you know, and then I started reading about it and I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is. Really oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So was well, that the first, was that the first Uruguay copy that you got then? Was that the first time you, you, you found something from. Oh, wow. You know, actually, the first Uruguay one I found was uh, Wings at the Speed of Sound, which is a totally different oh. color. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's it's it, it's in blue. Wow. So you know, as as you know, it says Wings. Right. You know, Wings over America. Amer wings, yeah. at, wings at the Speed of Sound. Excuse me. Yeah. Always oh, Speed of Sound. Okay. I was I was testing you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. But it's in blue lettering. Yeah. It's well, okay. the whole the whole jacket's in blue instead of white. Okay. Like wings at the speed of sound, so that's that's kind of neat to to get a different copy of that. Yeah. So we'll jump we'll jump back to bootlegs, and I I just kind of enjoy yeah. this because those of you watching. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. There you yeah, go. This is neat because I, if for those of you watch my channel, it's a it's a three record set. Okay. But I absolutely love, and I'm a sucker. For, for uh, color vinyl, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very well known that uh, Beetle Brad loves color vinyl. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things I. Oh man, I mean this. This could be you know I could have find this in the store for twenty dollars or seven hundred dollars. I'm like yeah 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 I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, my wife, no, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> so where? So that was uh, Madison Square Garden. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, you know, okay. red cool and red, blue, blue, and what was the other one? So, kind of the build up for the last one. Here we go. Uh oh, <laughs> like everybody doesn't know what it is, right? <laughs> Could it be purple, yeah. Right. <laughs> Look at that. So, it's and they're all, a, yeah, they're all translucent, then, yeah, kind of yeah, translucent white, but yeah, I, I, you know, I, I saw that, and then you know, that, that's kind of getting harder to find now so i just was like and i saw him during this concert tour as well so this was uh, okay kind of a nice one to have i, I did him several yeah. time yeah did you get to see him for the 76 tour no my parents wouldn't let me go parents, oh, <laughs> parents suck <laughs> parents <laughs> no they wouldn't let me go because it actually uh for me when i lived uh let's see where was i in 76 yeah <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, I was I was still living in Indianapolis at the time. So, oh, okay. Um, Paul McCartney, you know, was a school night, so he had a school night for me, and you know, and I was still in school, right. so I couldn't, gotcha. couldn't, couldn't go. My parents were like, "No way, you're gonna go see that rock person." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I did get the uh, the color reissue there, Tim. So that's it looks good. great. Yeah. And let's see, this is, uh, this is kind of, I mean, everybody's like, okay, you know, see that yeah. one. Right. But this is a still copy, it's still sealed from uh, Czechoslovakia. Oh. Yeah, still got all the paperwork with it. Um, it's got the Import. hyper hyperactive yeah. sticker. Yeah. Hype sticker there. So gotcha. that's kind of neat, you know, but check Czechoslovakia, you know, it's like, oh, wow. Are there even records from there? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Thank you, man, for showing that stuff. That's that's really, really cool and some amazing stuff that you have that um, is just making me jealous. <laughs> I got a few other things I could. I yeah, could go ahead. Let's see what else. Show you this. This is kind of neat. Okay. This is that's Paul McCartney. Pat 
It's a passport, yeah. Wow. But when you open it up, it is a passport for London Town, and it's slides of actual photo shoot for London. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, very rare. So and is that a promo piece for London Town then? Yeah. yeah wow. Got all oh these slides and stuff. I see if I can get that any closer, but if you can yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's too bad. I mean, Fanny was here. He could blow you up, but uh, oh yeah, no, he'd he'd love that. You know. Yeah, yeah. London Town's one of his favorite records. Mm. And then there's, uh, I belong. Like I said, I belong to the fan club. So I, right. I all of the uh, Paul McCartney did. Uh, he and Linda did postcards. Right. So sorry about the glare. No, that's okay. No, it looks fine. Yeah, so they do the postcards there. Um, wow. From the Paul McCartney fan club. So Club Sandwich, then you could only get that from Club Sandwich. Yeah, yeah. So I got that from Club Sandwich, and then I got all of them, and I said, you know, hey Paul, you know, I really liked it. Right. You know, for the postcards, uh, can you send some more? You know, could you send another one to me? So he he didn't send any more, but he sent me this one instead. It's the exact same one, but he signed it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's some more of the postcards. These are all, you know, postcards. And then on the back here, there's some other postcards as well that uh, came with that set. But yeah, there's there's one he, he sent and signed it to me, and I'm just like, whoa, wow, That's neat. Um, you mind if I show a couple more things? You please, get... no, no, please, please. I, I'm just in awe right now. Um, Paul McCartney did a concert which was in the desert, right? A bunch of other groups and stuff. Well, this is the the VIP box. Oh. Have you yeah. seen one of these? No, I haven't seen that box. No. <laughs> so this is the VIP box. Um, right. These were extremely rare. I, I I have not seen any of these online. Um, but with this, you get real quick. I'll, this is the booklet that comes with it. Right. With yeah, that was, that was the three-day event. And that uh, McCartney did the show with uh, Neil Young opening. Yeah, and it's got yeah. you know the layout, and it shows you you know here's the food vendors, here's the bathroom, right. <laughs> you know, so it's got the whole layout, and it's it's the whole program for the whole thing. Um, and then uh, a buddy of mine went to it, so I said to him, you know, hey, can you get some pictures for me? You know, because he's a professional photographer, so I got a lot of other photos that he took for me of Paul. Yeah, in here. So this is. One of the photos he took for me. Oh, wow. Here's, the, here's another one he took for me. Yeah. That's the night uh, he did uh, Why Don't We Do It in the Road for the first time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. you're good. Yeah. 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 That one. But, yeah, they, these are actually pretty pretty cool, pretty rare. And he's now selling these online. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting something kind of cool and rare, which I was at the time. But mm -hmm. then he was like, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'll put them online. But then this is kind of the whole thing about. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Paperwork and stuff. I won't, I won't bore you too much with all that, but this is kind of information. Um, then you dig down a little deeper. Right. Then this is the uh, real cool thing. This is the inside of the box. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, yeah. What did you just take out of it then? <laughs> and then <we> go, yeah. <laughs> got slides inside there. Oh, was, look at that. That is, is so cool. Yes. 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 I remember those. Yes. Yeah, viewfinder. Yes. Yes. And when you click these, these are all from the yeah. concert and they're all Paul McCartney. So when you go down and click them, they're all Paul and viewfinder. So um, <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> That's, that's funny. Yeah. That's far out. This was kind of neat. This came out on vinyl. Yeah, White Prairie. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but this is the first edition. This isn't right. the one that was reissued. And right. uh, for those of you who've been drinking while you're watching this video, that's nice. <laughs> <and happy>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. So that's that was from ninety. Eight or ninety nine, I believe ninety nine. Yeah. I think. Yeah, and I, I mean, I even have my letter for you know. I keep all that stuff, you know, because there's the letter of what I paid for it and when I bought it and all that. This was from a record store in California mm -hmm. when it, when it came out, and then it came with a 
very very flimsy yeah yep yep that yeah the yeah. reissue came it came like that in the reissue as well did it really i was getting ready yeah. to ask if you knew yeah. if it came with the reissue or not yep. but yeah yep. yeah and it was kind of neat, you know. I mean, to get the original ones is kind of kind of fun and cool. Yeah. Um, but you know, it was that was kind of fun. And you know, you asked me to show this. Yes. You asked me to if I could bring up this, but this is my. There it is. <laughs> I know Joe's got one. Joe, Joe went crazy looking for one after I showed mine, but. Oh, there it is. <laughs> But here's the uh, record store day. Yes. Yep. 45 yep. that came with it. Yep. And this is the uh, XM radio exclusive for the uh, radio show that they did when they did yes. the broadcast. Okay. And I just picked up last week. I should have put it in here to show you. Well, actually, here's this is a second copy, but there's there's the DVD of the whole concert. Okay. Grand Central Station, but this is the whole DVD, and that's wow. fantastic. They yeah. It's on DVD, but anyway, yeah. the CD right. is a broadcast from XM Radio, and then mm -hmm. this is the DVD of the whole show for Grand Central Station. Wow. And then the cassette. There you go. Still sealed. Um, then this is a CD of it from Germany. Still sealed. Oh man! Wow. And this is a, another home yeah. home store day of the record. Yep. yep. Um, and then this is a UK magazine publication that he did all about the album. Oh, amazing. Amazing. And yeah, I got, I got a couple other things to show you. But yeah, anyway, I don't mean to keep rambling. No, no, no. Show away, man. This is, again, this is amazing. Um, Let's see here. Um, hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Ron, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you for joining. Just yeah. glad to have you. Glad to have you, definitely. Okay. The English band. Okay. Oh, this is the Joe English band. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, yeah. <laughs> he's watching going, what the heck? Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, Joe English, yes. So I brought my album, and the, the concert was over, and I, you know, yeah. I thought, well, I'll take my album. You know, Joe English is now a, a Christian, born-again Christian. Yep. Singer, so he's he's kind of doing that, and he's very very hard to get a hold of. He doesn't yep. like to do interviews. He doesn't. No, talk. he does not. Nope. So good old Beetle Brad, being as shy as I am, yeah, right. <laughs> I talked my way into getting backstage, and I had him sign it for me. And I talked to talked to him for the longest time. That is excellent. Yeah, I see the. Yeah, I see it. Yep, and I see the autograph. But yeah, yeah. I. I to him about McCartney and I talked to him of why he left wings and I talked mm -hmm. to him does he ever talk to Paul again and all kinds of stuff so I mean I chatted with him I I was gonna show a picture of him and Joe English and I but I didn't right. want to show you know I just no that's fine show. yeah no the record is yeah. fine because I, I do have one of his records but it's not that one yeah actually I, I collected all of his Christian albums because I enjoyed them you know yeah. his Christian albums were great Mm. So how was it live? I mean, was he uh, was he the lead singer? Was he also the lead singer yeah. in the band? Yeah, he was, he was yeah. the lead singer, and he did you know all of his and this album. Um, people may say, "Oh, I don't really like Christian music." We gotta right. gotta find the CD of this. this rocks. I mean, this really rock. Mm. Okay, so, mm. I can make a recommendation of a Christian album. This is. You'll put right. this on and you'll be like, whoa, this is Christian. And you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Joe English, you know, there's, there's some good interviews uh, with him. And, you know, this, like I said, you know, the title song is what you need. Right. And it's just a jam. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, give me a call after the interview. Right. Wow. I, I just recently found out where he lives. So I'm thinking, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Spend him a pay him a little visit. Yep. He's not too far away from where I live. He's about about an hour and okay. a half away. Okay. So you just held up uh, back to the egg. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Joe Joe Mayo and I were together when he did this, but you know, Joe Joe be bored to see this, I'm sure. Right. Um, but this was kind of cool when I got all of them to sign it. Okay. Right. But that was really great. It was kind of the closest you'll ever get to a Wings reunion. And it was really great. Right. They did Rockestra and a couple other songs from 
back to the egg when they did the concert for right. Beatles a couple of years back. Right. Um, um, oh, I meant to show. I yeah, Kurt, I think those uh, 50,000 butcher covers, they were found in uh, Brad's backyard there. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got several different butcher ones. I should have shown those as well. Oh. I, I just recently got a very, very, very rare uh, Canada pressing of the butcher album. Really? Yeah. Wow. Really cool. Really cool. Mm. But, uh, you know, we, we were talking about Back to the Egg. But, yeah, it was kind of neat. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I was glad to get all of their autographs. Yeah. Right. Um, like I said, I've got all the club sandwiches. Yeah, there you go. So you said you you started with uh, like issue four or five, was it? Um, actually, I start with number five and go all the way, yeah. and I got okay. them all from there. But the, you know, the yeah. cool thing about this one is um, back to the egg, and like and this is just when they started going into color, which majority uh, of them were, just were all black and white. Um, and they didn't want to spend the money. That's part of it, you know. And all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I hear you. Yeah, but the cool thing is, you know, and the bottom of the page it says Japanese tour canceled. <laughs> no right. Mm. No wonder why. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that because that was fun. I mean, the middle page was really pretty cool. Um, ah, I was going to show you that, but uh, let's see where was that with. But yeah, you know, I've, I've also met a lot of the other band guys from Wings. Mm hmm. Um, Denny Sidewell, I just recently got his autograph. I, I met him several years ago, and Denny Lang. Right. Um, did you did pick it. up the uh, the Ram signed copy? Uh, no, I didn't get that. Okay, all right. Not, not yet, I should say. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, Dave Tripper, thanks for joining us. Yeah, glad to have you. Glad to have yeah. you. Wow. I was going to show you this because um, I've got the promotional poster for this of uh, Tug of War, and it's almost the same size as this. Right. Tug of War wow. poster, and that's that's enormous. And I just I could have done a whole video or you know talk to you about promo videos because I've got right. tons of them. And then, and then the best thing about this is, hope we don't have a younger viewing audience because this is the centerfold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, hold all calls. We got an <laughs> call. That's cool. Now, be, now, thanks to Club Sandwich, if you if you could, you could find your way to uh, the UK to be part of the the Take It Away video shoot. Yes, yes, and I got my letter to be a part of that video shoot for Take It Away, but my parents were like, no, because they they were shooting in in, in L.A. The video. Oh, they they did the video in L.A., okay. And I got my paperwork and saying, you know, we'd like to have you just show up and this will get you in the door to be a part of being in uh, Take It Away. Right. You know, and if you watch the video, you got people, you know, waving their hands yep. in the air and their cameras. And I was from the it's people all from the fan club. Yep. But my yeah. parents would let me go because, you know, from Indianapolis to L.A., it's like $5 billion yeah. to fly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure one of them will probably would have had to have gone with you at the same time. True. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like you're you're seven years old. You're not getting on a plane, you know. <laughs> you know. Oh wow. Well, Tim is telling you to keep going. So <laughs> okay. if, you know, I'm, I was kind of killing time waiting for you to log back in, but if he's not gonna log back in, that's, that's yeah, fine. he's having troubles here, so this is this is for Tim. This is really neat. This is the actual promotional cue sheet paperwork for the inner papers for London Town. Oh my! Wow. This is this is the uh, flat that they used before they pressed it. So mm. This is writing all on it, and it's got the scroll papers and all this kind of stuff. Um, right. So when I get around to showing London Town, usually in my videos, I'll I'll have a theme like let's say. Back to the egg, and I'll pull out all my stuff from Back to the Egg, from right, you know, all the all the rare stuff to everything of Back to the Egg, and you know, I'll do the yeah. same with London Town, and you know, I'll show this. And, mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of stuff. You know, people say, "Have you got, you know, have you got, uh, you know, mind games?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> Did, were you were you ever able to pick up any of the press kit stuff? Yeah, yeah, I got several okay. press kits. Um, I've okay. Got, Fair amount of press kits. Uh, which which one are we talking about? Uh, either it doesn't matter. I mean, like I know I, th I know there's one for Back to the Egg. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've got that. Yeah. And I just recently, probably about a month and a half ago, just picked up the whole entire press kit. It's quite thick to uh, caveman. Mm. Okay. Wow. Which looks pretty, pretty cool, pretty rare. Mm -hmm. um, back to the club sandwich. Yes. Yeah, that's a great, great photo. This was in London town. And, you know, then the neat, neat thing about this one is this one's from the fan club only. They, they press mm -hmm. only for the fan club. Okay. And this is not the one that came in the album. This is the uh, fan club issue. Wow. Club sandwich one, which yeah, it's just kind of fun. It's 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 kind of rare, but you know, I mean, that's not you know, blow your blow your socks right. off. So but. does that? So did that come with the issue of club sandwich, or did you have to get? Or was that separately? Uh you had to get that separately. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Get that separate. That was kind of like a, you know, we're glad to have yeah. you along, but you know, please purchase this <laughs> wow <laughs> well that was really really something man i'm still just like in awe and shock <laughs> and shock yeah, and all the, 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 the tiny bit of the iceberg i mean we haven't even gotten right. into oh of, of course stuff. i mean i've yeah. got tons more but you know i know we're limited on time right well i mean for those who who haven't subscribed to your channel yet i mean how do they find you on youtube yeah, I'm, I'm just on YouTube, and you just type in Beetle Brad, and uh, I've got uh, you know a lot of content, a lot of lot of you know not only Beatles and McCartney and John and George and Ringo and mm -hmm. Blue and Pete Best and <laughs> I'm just kidding, yeah. um, but you know I've, I've done video logs, like I've been to London twice and done videos of being in London and retracing Beatles stuff in Liverpool. Um, so, you know, I've got a lot of other stuff. Plus, I, I show a lot of other, you know, a lot of other stuff. You know, we're talking about Dave Clark 5. There's an original right. Dave Clark 5 UK. Okay. Up, you know, so. Right. Um, you know, a lot of lot of other stuff to come but that I haven't shown on my channel. You know, I just recently got this. This is from Japan. Oh, okay. That's the rock and roll. Yeah. Which okay. now, you know, you know, I even got a CD to go with it from Japan. Okay. You know. um, so yeah, Beetle Brad. Uh, you know, you could find me there, and uh, you know, more, lot, lot more videos to come. I, like I said, I've got, I've got well over uh, five hundred and sixty videos now that I've done. That's a great, awesome. Yeah, I mean, I've I've checked out some of your 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 videos, you know, and you've inspired me to do. <clears throat> excuse me a couple shows you know from 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 for, for two leg for you know the two legs of paul mccartney podcast you know um so so thank you for all the effort that you put into your uh your videos and you know your passion is just oh, over i mean it's just <laughs> it's through the roof really it's I just loved it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. you know i enjoy showing it and it's you know and the funny thing is i'll do a video and then i'll start putting stuff away Right. And then when I'm putting it away, I'm like, oh, I found three more things that could have gone in that video. I'm like, darn, I should have done that. You know. So do you do you catalog everything? Do you? Do you I do try you to. I try to. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll go through the best I can and say, okay, right. here is. Right. You know, here is this album. You know, so right. I've got you know several copies to go with it to make sure that you know I can do this. You know, with, with mm -hmm. other promotional stuff that goes with that album. Ah, uh, okay. You know, but yeah, I, I try to try to hit it right with the album yeah. as well. Um, but no, I, I'm glad I'm glad you've been, you know I know you've seen a couple of my videos and I yeah. appreciate you watching most definitely. And I just, yeah. you know, it's it's really you kind of build a rapport and a lot of friendship too, and I really enjoy right. that. Yes. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, um, Tim Allen, he just said the best thing that Brad is is healthy. We need him. So, yes, yeah. because obviously you had some you had a health scare a few years back and you've yeah. you know, it's like yeah. you've made a full recovery. And we're, we're, we're grateful that you're you're still here to show us all these wonderful things. And I'm sure you're grateful you're still here to be so yeah. you can keep yeah. keep the collection going, you know. So Tim, Tim's a, Tim Allen is a great guy. Yeah. He's a good yeah. friend and a good guy. Yeah. And he watches my channel as well. But, yeah, I had – Three severe cancer operations a couple of years back, and almost okay. didn't make it through the uh, the second one. It, it, mm. it my lungs collapsed, and I had second. Oh. You know, so mm. it was, I was checking out. So the Lord wasn't done with me just yet. So you mm. know, long long more to go. So that's for right. sure. 
Right. Bye. Well, Brad, thank you very much. Um, I don't know if Annie can end this, but uh, I'll just, I mean, you can, you can go if you want to, or you can stick around. We'll ask some questions here if people got any questions. Well, yeah, no, uh, got if if yeah. not, but uh, let me uh, get a hold of Andy here and see uh, if he can um, help sign us off because he's controlling this whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I was calling. Yeah. We need to come back on. It's like, mm. yeah. Right. No, I mean, I was, I was glad to show you my stuff. I mean, like I said, you know, I've got crazy stuff to show. Yeah. Here, let me just text him real quick here. And All right. Anybody got any questions out there for Brad? Yeah. Go ahead and fire yeah. off. Yeah. More, more than like excited. I said, if... But just, you know, whoever's watching, if we do just get shut down, it's because Andy was unable to uh, join us. And um, upcoming trips planned, Brad, from Tim. Oh, up and coming trips. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, I've, I just recently went to a uh, Beatles rock concert uh, outside, and so I got that coming up on my channel. Okay. Um, um, so I've got that as well, but you know, I've got a few, few other things in the works. Okay. I, I um, for a magazine. So I just came back from a photo shoot in upstate New York. Oh, so I, no kidding. I shoot for car, car magazine. So, you know, just okay. done doing that. So that's kind of, kind of me job. Hey, eh? excellent. Um, my cousin, uh, Duke here wants to know what your most prized possession is and do, should you even say what it is? <laughs> Oh wow! Are we are we talking Beatles or solo Beatles? Okay, well, let's start with Beatles. Let's start Beatles. Okay, I've got a. Uh, see how can I say this without saying too much? Um, I've got a uh, one of their gold albums from Sgt. Okay. Pepper. Oh wow! Yeah, and it's yeah, it's really sweet. And there were only five of them issued. <laughs> what? There was one for John. There was one for George and Paul and Ringo, and there was one for Brian. Oh, for Brian. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because they didn't give them to engineers and producers and like that at the no, time. Yeah. No, but yeah, to go on. So, I mean, that's, that's one of my biggies. And then the other thing I probably, the other Beatles prize possession I've got, um, I grew up in, like I said, in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And being in Indianapolis, uh, they performed in Indianapolis in 1964. And my sister in law, um, her parents hosted a cocktail party at their house and had the Beatles at her house. Oh, wow. And uh, so I got John Lennon's autograph. She had all, all four of them, uh, their autographs from 64. And uh, as years went on, she lost them all. But for my birthday, she gave me an original autograph of John's from 64 from that Indianapolis wow. party at her house, which was great. I mean, that's really cool. Then the memory of it and the story. Right. How about uh, Solo? Oof. Solo. Prize, pl prize possessions. Um, solo autographs. I've got a beautiful autograph of Ringo when I had him sign some drumsticks. From mm -hmm. Ringo's. Um, a couple autographs of Paul's that were kind of neat. Um, but, you know, uh, that's, oh gosh, off the top of my head, I um, promotional posters are kind of kind of cool and rare. Right. I've, got, I've got home movies of Paul McCartney. I mean, I've got the actual home movies of Paul's uh, brother's uh, wedding. And Paul's oh, that's right. We talked about that the other night too. Yeah, you got a home video of of Mike McCartney getting married. <laughs> yeah, I've got the whole video, which is actually you know it's like anybody else's wedding. You know, you're you know standing there with you know he and his bride and groom and the whole lineup okay it's just like any other home video but then there's paul standing up there and you know and then afterwards they kind of put the camera around and paul and stuff like that and that's kind of neat and rare and i was very much involved in uh, helping out with the beatles the anthology so i've got a lot of video stuff so part of my video went to the anthology as well when that came out okay so my beatles stuff and McCartney and John and George and Ringo is pretty intense, but my video probably surpasses my vinyl. Um, okay. I've got video stuff that people have, have never seen. I mean, um, 
just off the top of my head, there was, you know, they were going to release the Beatles, Leave My Kitten Alone on 45. Right. Uh -huh. I've, got, I've got the 45 as well, but there was also a promotional video to go with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I've, got, I've got the promotional video, which they pulled last minute. Capital pulled it. Okay. Um, plus, uh, you know, a lot of great video stuff. I mean, we're getting ready for Let It Be. I've got the movie itself, which a lot of people have got. But outside of the movie, I've got uh, close to a uh, little over nine hours worth of video of, mm -hmm. Let it, of Let It Be. So I'm anxious to see what they come up with, if it's anything like what I've got, because I've got a lot of really, really rare stuff that's never been seen of Let It Be. Right. Um, you know, video, stuff like that, which is really pretty cool. You know, a lot of rare stuff of them in the studio working and making Sergeant Pepper. Okay. Which I'm well that didn't make it. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, uh, that's question? just amazing. No, that's it. Let's let's call it here. I gotta try to figure out how to to end this. And uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, this could easily could probably do a part two of this. Uh, you know, in a you know few months or so. But this was amazing. Thank you, Brad, for showing everything, and um, really appreciate it. Pleasure was all mine. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, you know, hope I didn't ramble and talk too much. But yeah, no, no, it was perfect. I mean, you you, you it and described it, and it and perfectly. Yeah. yeah hard so to get in, in an hour, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah. So if you're out there, if you haven't subscribed to Two Legs of the Paul McCartney podcast, please do. Don't forget to check out Beetle Brad's YouTube uh, channel, Beetle Brad. Please subscribe to that if you haven't yet already. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you all for joining. I'm going to try to sign out of here because unfortunately Andy can't. And uh, um, go home. <laughs> 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 you can go. You, you guys are free to go. Take yeah, care. Yeah. All right. Yep. Thanks, Thanks so Brad. Much. Yeah. You can go. You can go ahead and sign up, Brad, if you want to. Okay. Okay. If I can. Yeah. So. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Everybody for watching. Um, do you see the the leave studio underneath? Yeah. Yeah, just there you go. Ah. Oh my. All right. Now I gotta figure out how to X out of here. Yeah. <laughs>